brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect an over-the-air antenna to a flat-screen, high-definition television so that you can receive free television. Now, the reason you might want to receive free television is A, if you don't want to pay for it, uh, B, if there's an emergency and your television service goes out and you want to try to stay up to date with news and weather reports, you can use the antenna for that. You're going to need three items. With TV, you're going to need an antenna. This is uh, characterized as a rabbit ear antenna. And you're going to need a piece of coaxial cable. Now this piece of coaxial cable that I'm showing you oh, is about three feet long. You can use a shorter piece if you want. You can use a longer piece if you want. You could use a piece that's a hundred feet long. The longer the cable the more the signal from the antenna is going to degrade or become weaker. So please keep those things in mind. I flipped the television around so you can see the back panel and I flipped the antenna around so you can see the back of the antenna. One thing you want to do is disconnect the power to your TV and do not do this while there's an electrical thunderstorm outside because you do risk placing yourself in danger. All you do is you locate your coaxial input, this shiny silver thing with threads on it, and take your coaxial cable that already has a connector on it. You can buy these at local retailers or online. Very inexpensive. Spin that down onto that coaxial connector. Make sure you get a nice tight fit. Take the other end, spin it onto the antenna, good and snug. Now I'm going to turn the antenna back around so it faces the camera. I'm going to turn the television around so it also faces the camera. But before I do, let me plug the power cord back in. I'm going to take the television remote, the remote control that came with the television, turn the television on. Of course you see snow because now we need to do what's called a scan for channels. So on the particular remote I'm going to locate the menu button. Press menu. Now I'm going to go down to where it says channel. Every brand of television is going to have a menu that's a little bit different than what I'm showing you on the screen. However, they all, all the menus of all the different makes and models of televisions are similar. So your brand of television might not show channel. You might have to go to setup and then look for channel. But in my TV I'm looking for channel and I can see right here it says antenna and cable. So I'm going to hit the right arrow button and then I'm going to press enter on my remote and I'm going to select air. Are you on Facebook or Twitter? Visit facebook.com slash the country network and like us or Twitter. Well evidently this television already has the over air antenna signal scanned in but I need to show you how to scan those channels in. So I'm going to say menu and I'm going to select channel again. This time I'm going to go down to auto program. I'm going to select enter and I'm looking for over the air, air and start and I want to do start. And the channel scan is going to start so the tuner that's built into this flat screen TV, there's a very specific digital tuner that's built into this flat screen television, is going to scan the whole spectrum of channels and it's going to look for 
uh, digital over-the-air channels. If you can see this in your screen, it says DTV, which is digital TV, and then there's air, and it says DTV air and air. So this is digital air, and this is analog air. If you do not have any analog broadcasters, no information is going to show up in this block. And if you live in uh, the United States, chances are you won't see very many show up in this block because the federal government mandated uh, all broadcasters, uh, with some exceptions, go to digital. But if you live outside the United States, I don't know what those countries uh, do or don't do, you might see some numbers here. But this will process does take some time, so be patient and let it, let it go. Okay, here it's saying we have 21 digital air channels and zero analog, and we simply take the remote and we hit menu to, to escape from the menu. Uh, so that's how you watch over the air. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.